It's now about 11 a.m. About to hit the trail. When I planned this trip on all trails, it was supposed to be about 12 miles from here to the next campsite, which is about what we did yesterday. But I was looking at the mile guide thing that we saw at the beginning, and it said it was 14 and a half. So either way, it's a pretty long hiking day. Thomas, how'd it go? Yep. Thomas had some business to take care of, but spirits are high. I feel a lot better. My cold is easing off and it feels much warmer today. So that's nice. So we think what happened is Thomas was up this way while I was up this way and we missed each other somehow. This is the most impressive thing I've ever seen. Cannot believe beavers built this. Holy cow. Oh, there's a cool bridge up here. We got some water filtering back that way, so we're just checking out this little beach access right here. There's something down there. I think we're gonna be on that somewhere. In a little under five miles, there is a landmark called Chapel Rock, which if I remember correctly, is like an overlook. So we're thinking that would be a good goal to stop for lunch because it'll be about halfway on the day. There's a lot going on here. Do we go up and around or do we go down? Oh boy, that's going to be fun. I just checked the GPS and it's looking like we're a little bit over halfway from where we camped last night to Chapel Rock. So that feels about pretty good for the plan of having lunch there. And now we got this. And I think one of those things that stick out is probably it. We're starting to get into what I think this area is named after, all of these rocks and cliffs. So this is the stream that feeds out to the waterfall that we just saw right over there. Don't go swimming in that. We decided to go ahead and stop for lunch. You guys look at this. I don't know what the view is like at Chapel Rock, but I have a hard time believing it's going to be better than this. I think we have roughly eight-ish miles to the campsite from here. Probably a little bit too early to stop for lunch, but this view is just unbeatable. I don't feel bad about it. All right, we finally found Chapel Rock, and I assume that is Chapel Beach over there. Look at this, the tree is on the rock. It's like the only thing there, and the way the route just goes across it. I'm sure someone at some point has tried to go across that. I would not do it. Wow. This place just keeps on going. The water is like a different tint over here too. Look at the change of color, wow. We're just continuing on around the lake and right here you can kind of get a perspective of how far we've come. We've just been going along the lake all the way through here and right over there, right there. I think that is where we had lunch. And then over there, Right in the middle of the screen, I believe, is Chapel Rock.
We are now at Grand Portal Point. So somewhere, as far as the eye can see that way, is where we started. And we just hiked all along that shore. And now we're here. Just going a few more miles that way. Hey, dude. Hey, little buddy. Got you a goldfish. Yeah, you enjoyed that. I know, they're delicious, aren't they? Yeah, you know what's up. Another concerning thing is that this is how much water I have. There's a spot about a mile from the campsite for tonight where we're gonna try to filter water. Worst case scenario, we can grab some up here at Mosquito River. One odd but good thing is that I am pretty tired, but I guess I've just hit a stride. I haven't gotten any more tired, probably since about 20 minutes after we stopped for lunch. Just kind of been constant and steady. Thomas seems to be quite a ways back. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm gonna push on to the campground up ahead and we'll rendezvous there. I don't know what this is called, but it's absolutely incredible. Look at that. I'd love to go through that on a boat. It's amazing. I saw this a while back and didn't realize that I'd passed it. All right, made it to the Mosquito Campground. If the map is correct, we got three miles to Potato Patch Campground. I remember what seems like forever ago, passing a sign that was four miles to the Mosquito Campground. So thinking of doing one mile less than that, So right there's that thing that we saw earlier. About two and a half more miles. Thomas is alive, he's right back there. Dude, what is that? Why? Why couldn't, well, you can't go that way, I guess. Oh, all right, here we go. This is not what I had in mind when I said we had three miles left. This is gonna finish me off. <laughs> oh. Just a few more. Ooh. Okay, Lord, that fell twice. Wow. I made it to the creek crossing, which means it's just under a mile to the campsite from here. <sighs> Thomas is Lord knows where with the filter. I'm gonna wait for him right here and we'll figure out a plan of what to do next. The tree frogs are quite active here. I wonder if any of them hiked 15 miles today. I think I might see Thomas coming through the trees. There's our boy. Here's something that kind of sucks. I'm about halfway from the water spot to the campsite, which praise God, but there's more water over there and I have no way to tell Thomas. No freaking way. Are you kidding? Thomas is gonna be pissed when he sees this. Well, it wasn't on the map. Oh well, wish I could tell him. Oh, no way. Ah, holy mother of God. Is this it, number three? Oh, oh God. And that view, holy cow. Oh. 
we made it. Thomas, I am very sorry. I didn't know there was water that close. I'm gonna try to make it up to you by having a nice fire and a tent put up when you get here. I opened up the bear box and look what I found. Toilet paper and maybe fuel. The two things we have needed this entire hike. There is a guide. Okay, everything is set up. I got my stuff all organized. Fire is built, but not lit. I told Thomas if I didn't see him by nine o'clock, I'd come looking for him. And it's about to be nine. I don't know if I can do it. If the sun goes down, I may go looking for him. But I don't want a repeat of last night. You got it, dude. Keep on coming. This is very woodsy. This is very, uh... Welcome to paradise. Look to your right. Go open the bear box. Just open the bear box. Oh, God. Okay. Is that toilet paper? What? What is that? Oh, my. Is that a wire fluid? What? <laughs> what is that? What? The There's wire... toilet paper in a tank. I don't know if there's anything in it. We are on the trail, leaving the Potato Patch campsite. Just under nine miles to go and we are out of here. How do you feel, Thomas? Uh, okay. Ready to get it. Ready to take it down. My knee is in trouble. <laughs> my feet feel way better though. I think once I get warmed up and get moving, I'll be all right. But I'm using my poles now to take some weight off. We're up at the top of a steep ridge. We were way down there a minute ago, now we're way up here, and there's the lake. I haven't been filming as much, just because my phone storage and battery are both running on E, so I'm trying to get the most out of those as I can. Just continuing on, I think we have about seven miles to go. Just past the Cliffs group campsite, which means there's 6.4 miles to go. Actually, a little less than that because it's about five minutes back that way. My knee is feeling better, but you can probably tell by my red nose that my cold is feeling worse. <laughs> Not an ideal time to be sick, but we're gonna make it. All right, I just reached the Cliffs campsite. I'm gonna go ahead and stop for lunch here. It's a little under halfway for the day. And I'm not super hungry yet, but I just kind of want to get it out of the way. And also that might help us be a little bit more ready for dinner by the time we finish. I'm not sure how far back Thomas is, so I dropped my trekking pole and wrote Thomas with an arrow just in case I can't see him from wherever I stop because I don't see the campsites. Maybe I won't go all that far back in or something. Hopefully he figures it out and stops. I believe that is Sand Point. It's gotta be. I don't know where exactly the trail to it is, but it's supposedly under three miles from that point. We'll see. Almost there, a few more miles. 2.7 miles, that's it y'all, we're almost there. I have no idea how hard this 2.7 miles is gonna be, but I think regardless, it's gonna feel like a victory lap. Really ready to get there. Under a half mile to go. I can hear a road. Almost there. I see an opening in the woods. There's a little meadow up here. I think we're so close we can taste it. I can see a parking lot. So kind of anticlimactic, but we accidentally came down the snowmobile trail instead of the hiking trail. But I can see the car. It's right down there. It's a nice little road hike. Finish it off. Thomas. 
It is finished. It is done. It is done. I've never been happier to see my car. What if this wasn't my car? <laughs> oh. There's another person with a dog, Jacobs. It is time for pasties. First experience in soda. Made it to our hotel. There's only one thing left to do now. Thank you so much for watching this two-part video on our awesome hike up at Pictured Rocks a while back. I'm also really excited about the next video that's going to be coming out, which is going to be a completely different experience of this journey. It's going to be no talking, no music, just sounds of the woods, sounds of the lake, and just pretty cinematic shots. It's really relaxing to watch, and I am super pumped to release it. Lastly, regular videos are returning soon. We'll talk about what all has gone on in the last two months when we get there. The focus lately has been on editing these three videos, which have been quite a workhorse to get through, on top of being really busy in life. So those are coming. Check out the other video on Pictured Rocks. Here is a little preview of the new video that's coming out. I'll see you soon.